labels. <laughs> <laughs> no, a bit of humor there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that should, should shake them up. Good. That's you right. Know? Joe and everybody else just fell out of their chairs. <laughs> you got to be on the CMA show this year. Was that a big one for you? A CMA show, you know, I've, uh, CMA, CMA and I, we haven't, see, I don't even pronounce it very well. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't agreed on, for a long time, you know, on a lot of things. But, you know, I, uh, I was on Miller and Company, and uh, we talked about the voting procedure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was the next day, <laughs> they, they got together and they changed their voting procedure. And I think it's uh, much more, it's, it's fair now, you know. And uh, the big companies don't control it. It, they just get like I think, if I'm right, you know they, they have a certain amount of votes now, like like 200, mm -hmm. and uh, that way they can't. You know, the block voting is, it's much harder f to do that. And so I felt the reason I did the CMA show this year is I felt uh, they made they made a they made a step, and I thought it was my turn. Well, there were a lot of surprises in that show and an awful lot of emotion. Do you feel that maybe that had something to do with that this time around? Oh, uh, you mean me being on it? No, I, with the, uh. the people who won the surprise winners of the awards. Uh -huh. so. I'll tell you, you want me to tell you the truth? Sure. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was backstage the whole time. I was listening to Gal Larry Gatling's uh, success stories. <laughs> 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 so that's why he was late getting on stage, maybe because of you? <laughs> Man, you and it was because of him because I thought he never was going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. But you know, Gatlin says that he doesn't pay much attention to what's going on on the radio every day because he doesn't want that influencing him. Are you that kind of person, too? Well, I was that kind of person first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, uh, now, you know what? I listen. Uh, I listen very little, you know, to the radios. Yeah. I mean, to, uh, and uh, he's right. Uh, that does influence you. I think it would. And I don't. I don't listen to try to find trends or anything like that. I just try to find good songs. So you're saying that everything that's happened to you has just happened, not necessarily reflecting somebody else's attempt. Uh, I tell you what. I just started to let the music carry me where it take me to where it goes. Yeah. You know. You right. And, uh, and I've. Uh, you know, I don't try to, uh, when I cut a song, I don't say, oh, that sounds like a pop hit or that sounds like this, that, or another. You get a good song, I don't care where it comes from, you know, and you, you should get a good record out of it. Or try to, don't try to cut songs, say, that's a good album cut. I'd say, every one of them, I try to make the single sounding as much as I can, you know. Do you write much yourself these days? I haven't written in a while, but it's, uh, it's going to come back around. I've been going through some changes in my life, you know. I um, I spent like 21 years on drugs, and like I, uh, I've been off for like seven months now. Mm. And these things, you know, I just don't try to to uh, uh, dwell on it much, you know, like because I know it'll come back around. I'm, I'm getting the feeling now that I'm fixing to write some more, mm. you know. But that reunion that you had uh, last week with all the guys for the Doors Always Open special uh -huh. was quite an inspiration. It really was. I tell you what was great. There was a time when uh, someone who was straight and not on drugs or alcohol would have been the outsider and it was just reversed mm. this time i mean someone that, anyone that had come in there on drugs or on you know or drunk he would have been the outsider mm. and it's, it's quite a change because all of them you know like we've all been uh drug addicts or had had our problems with them all the years but it was like everybody was straight and everybody was having a good time and it's amazing how much funnier we are <laughs> <laughs> and how much better time we had, you know? Oh, that's great. Well, you know, that big flying W is just showing up everywhere. Where, where are we going to see that next? Got some plans oh, for Oh, you seen it at the house? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Well, I got it over, you know, I got an arch over my gate. You and uh, it says, uh, it's got the big flying W, uh -huh. and uh, inside it says Southern Comfort, you know. Oh. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, we've been doing some other things, you know. I uh, we did, the, of course, the special, mm -hmm. that um, uh, the Sue Brewer special. The door's always open, and it'll be out like in, after the first of the year sometime. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. I just uh, it'll be probably seeing it going down the road somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, we sure do appreciate the uh, Southern comfort you've given us here today at your place. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much, Waylon. You bet. Yeah.